morning and happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd. I'm Amar. And I'm Jeff. Teachers, today is day five of rotations. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. We will now hear from the loo. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday to you. Welcome back. It is so good to see you. Teachers, welcome back to you guys as well. I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's get started with another week. It's only four-day week, guys, so we need to squeeze everything from five days into four and get it done this week. Um, and so, boys and girls, it is Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Well, boys and girls, this message is for you, not necessarily the teachers. Appreciation means an expression of gratitude. That means showing how thankful you are. So I want you to think about something. Your teachers, those adults standing in your room right now, worry about you every day. They help you find solutions to your problems. They teach you knowledge that is necessary for life. They build you up with confidence. They hug you when you're sad. They reassure you when you fail. They keep you safe. And they pay often out of their own money to make sure that you, you have everything that you need. I, I mean, I hope you listen. They do more than just stand in front of you and talk all day long. And I, you need to realize what they truly do for you every single day and how lucky you are. And make sure that you thank them, not only today, not only this week, but every single day. So, um, again, you well, you've seen, too, this little friends theme here, boys and girls. Um, so, a uh, quick side note. No sports show today, obviously, because we have something special here for the teachers in a second. Um, and then starting tomorrow and through Friday, I'm going to be raffling off prizes for the teachers, too. So stay tuned for that. But again, this is a Friends theme. So I don't even know if you guys know the show Friends. Many of you probably don't, but many of you do. Your parents probably watch it. It was really popular. I'm sure many of our teachers love it. It's hard not to love. And so there's a specific character in the show Friends, and his name is Mr. Heckles, okay? And so we're going to show you a quick, real quick video clip of a little bit of who Mr. Heckles is from the show, because then following that is something special from Mr. Heckles. So we're going to play this right here. Doing it again. We're not doing anything. We're just sitting around talking. I can hear you through the ceiling. My cat's can't sleep. You don't even have cats. I could have cats. <laughs> no, Mr. Heckles, no one is making any noise up here. You're disturbing my oboe practice. <laughs> you don't play the oboe. I could play the oboe. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to keep it down. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm Eric. I'm going to be Chandler's new roommate. I'm Chandler's new roommate. <laughs> I don't think so. I could be Chandler's new roommate. <laughs> you told me over the phone. You told me in person. That's weird. Well, I'm going to uh, go into my new apartment now. <laughs> <Hey? laughs> All right, so that is Mr. Heckles. Now, Mr. Heckles has something for us specifically here at Patty and our teachers. Hi, everybody. It is Mr. Heckles. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm here to welcome 
and uh, express my gratitude and all uh, everybody's gratitude for this special friends themed weekend in honor of all the great, great, best staff and, and teachers here at Patty Elementary. Patty Strong. Okay, so uh, there's only two uh, responsibilities, you know, for having this celebration. Uh, I'm talking for the staff and the, the teachers, the best. I'm talking to the best. They are the best. Uh, so there's only two responsibilities for this celebration. This week-long Friends Week celebration. Uh, the first uh, responsibility is you got to keep it down. Yes, they're the best teachers and the best staff, you got to keep it down. Uh, because, uh, you know, I got birds, I got cats. And uh, one of the birds happens to be an ostrich. So you disturb the ostrich. And he wrecks my place. I can't practice my yoga. I got to clean up after an ostrich. You can't, can't, can't do that. So, so just keep it down, okay? All right, enough said. Uh, the second responsibility, a little more serious, a little more, uh, well, it's a little more serious, a little more important. Uh, you only, uh, all, all the teachers and all the staff, the, the best, all, all of you, uh, you owe me a waffle and a cat. Yes, you do. You owe me a waffle and a cat. I have the receipts. So leave the waffles and the cats by my door. Uh, no butter, no syrup on the waffles. People slip on it. And then they sue me. And uh, also, no butter, no syrup on the cats. I don't know why you people are putting butter and syrup on cats. Well, let me put it to you this way. How would you like it if Bob Buttons put butter and syrup on you? See what I'm saying? Okay. So cat waffle by the door. No butter, no syrup on either one. And keep it down. And then rock on. Have a great, great Friends-themed weekend. You're the best. Patty Strong. Rock on. Rock on! Even Mr. Heckle says that you are the best. And he also says, have a great day. And together we are. Patty Strong. Strong.